Hey y'all, this is a Country Craft Creations design team project. So for this tutorial, what you're going to need, you're going to need a piece that is 6 by 7. Alright, you're going to score it at 1. Okay, and this is your 6 inch side at the top, so you're going to score it 1. Alright, then you're going to need a piece that is 7 by 11. Okay, you're going to score at 1, at 6, and at 7. Okay. And I want to go ahead and tell y'all now that this video, you know, may be a little off. And the reason for that is I have redone my craft room, so my camera setup is a little different. So it may take me a little time to get used to it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to fold on all of those score lines. Okay, so now this is what we have for our larger piece. And then this is what we have for our smaller piece. Okay, now, what I'm going to do, because I want my flap on the right hand side, I'm going to glue the smaller piece, the 6 by 7 piece, right here on this 1 inch strip here. Okay, so I'm just going to take my art glitter glue. I'm going to add some glue to this 1 inch piece on my 6 by 7. And you can use whatever adhesive you like, but you want to make sure that you use good adhesive. Okay, and I am using 110 pound cardstock for this. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it, I'm going to open this up so I can see here, and I'm just going to take, alright, I added my glue here, so I'm going to place it here. Alright, when you do this, now take your time, make sure you get everything lined up nice and straight. Okay, and then when you have it where you want it, press it down and burnish. Alright, I'm going to open it up, burnish it here. Alright. So this is our shell, our little folio shell here. Okay, so this is what we have. All right, now I'm going to open it up, okay, and I'm going to make my pages. Okay, so you're going to need six pieces that are six and a half by eight and a half. Okay, you're going to take them on your eight and a half inch side. You're going to score it a half and score it five. Okay, now you're going to fold and burnish each one of those. Okay, so they're going to look like this. Okay, and alright, I see now my camera is shaking, so I do apologize for the shaky camera. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my album here. Okay, and I'm just going to add glue here to my little half inch piece. Okay, and for these, all I'm using is 65 pound cardstock. Okay, I use 110 for the outside, and everything for the inside is going to be 65 pound. Okay, now, before you add this on, add your design paper in here. Okay, so let me go ahead and add my design paper, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have the inside wrapped. I went ahead and wrapped the outside as well. Alright, I want to tell you now, I did forget to add my magnets for my closure here. So make sure that if you use magnets, you add them before you add your design paper on. Okay, so it's going to close like this. Alright. And again, make sure you add your magnets before you add your design paper. Okay, so I have my design paper and I'm going to work on the left side here. Okay, I'm going to take my piece that is 6.5 by 8.5. I've scored it a half and at 5 on the 8.5 inch side. Okay, I fold it. I'm just going to add glue here to my little half inch piece. Okay. Now I'm just going to take it to the left hand side here. I'm sorry y'all, I keep getting out of frame. Like I said, this is a new setup for me and I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Okay, so I'm just going to take it and I'm going to close mine up here so I can see. Alright, I don't want to go all the way to that score line. But I do want to go to the edge of my design paper. Alright, you're going to have about a quarter of an inch here at the top and here at the bottom. Okay, so this is what you have. Alright, then I'm just going to open it up, burnish that down. Now I'm going to take another one. Same thing. Okay, I'm just going to fold and burnish. Alright, I'm going to open this one up. So I'm just going to take my glue. 
add it to this little half inch flap here okay and I'm gonna lay it right on top of this one okay so I'm actually going to turn it this way okay let's see here all right I don't want to go over this score line so see this little score line here all right I don't want to go over that so I'm gonna go just a tiny bit to the left of it but I'm gonna go right on top okay so make sure that you do not go on that score line okay burnish it down all right so now we have two pages in okay now I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna take another piece here and I'm going to add my glue to my little half inch flap and if y'all want to round your corners or use a decorative punch or whatever you know go ahead and do that before you glue them down all right I'm gonna open this up so I can see again I'm going to the left and I'm going right on top of this flap but I'm not going over that score line there okay so I'm going just a tad to the left of the score line all right now this is what I have okay so now I have three pages in that are on the left okay so you can burnish them down now I've, I've noticed this camera is really shaky right here so I'm sorry all right so now I have three flaps on this left hand side now here in the middle I want to do the same thing okay so I'm going to take my next three six and a half by eight and a half pieces all right fold it up add my glue okay and now I'm going to the left hand side of this middle section okay try not to get out of frame all right I'm gonna try to get it centered and make it exactly where this other one is so whenever this opens up it'll be right on top okay right now I'm gonna fold down and burnish okay you see here they're not exactly you know I'm off just a little bit there so that's fine that's no big deal all right I'm just gonna open it up I'm gonna add another one I'm going to take my glue to the little half inch piece. Alright, again, I'm going right on top of this one, but make sure now you don't go over that score line. Okay, see our score line here? Don't go over it. Alright. When you have it where you want it, brush it down. Make sure everything closes good. Okay. Now I have one more. Okay. Same thing. Don't go over that score line. Okay. now we have our six pages in all right we have three pages on the left hand side three pages in the middle now I need to add pockets okay so our pockets are going to go right over top of this little half inch piece here all right so what I have I have two pieces that are two and a quarter by seven and a half okay on my seven and a half inch side I've scored it a half rotate around score to half okay go down and burnish all right and I did use a decorative punch all right so this is what mine looks like and this is the punch that I use this is a Martha Stewart punch okay and I don't know the name of it and I do apologize 
All right, so I'm gonna punch this one out and then we'll add our pockets in. Okay, so now that I have both of them punched out, all right, what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna open this up. Okay, I'm gonna fold in my two little flaps here. All right, I'm gonna add glue to the two flaps. Okay, now I'm gonna take and add glue right on top of this little half inch piece here. All right, and the reason why I'm doing that, all right, y'all make sure you don't go over that score line. Okay, but the reason why I'm doing that is because whenever I tuck my photo mat in, it's gonna get caught on this piece here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it down. All right, I'm gonna turn this this way so I can see it and you can see it as well. All right, I'm just gonna fold down these little flaps, place it right on top. Okay, making sure everything is centered up, lined up the way you want it. All right, then I'm gonna burnish it down. Again, y'all, I apologize for the camera shaking. I will have that fixed in my next video. All right, so now we have a pocket here and three pages. So now we need to do the same thing on this side, okay? Once again, I'm gonna turn it. Okay, I'm gonna add my glue to the two little half inch pieces. Okay, and then right on top of this half inch piece here. And again, make sure you don't go over that score line there. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it so I can see. Okay, place it down, take your time when you do this. You wanna make sure now you don't put that pocket over that score line as well. Okay, so I'm gonna burnish. All right, a little bit of glue come out, no big deal. Alrighty. So now this is what we have. We have our pocket here, three pages, three pages, and pocket. Okay, now I need to, let me get out this book here so I'll know. All right, so I need to add, let's see here, pockets on the inside here. All right, so we need to make these little pockets here. And I've got four of those. So you're gonna need four pieces that are two and a quarter by four and three eighths. Okay, and your four and three eighths is going to be, let's see here, four and three eighths is gonna be in between a quarter and a half okay all right so you're going to need four of those and again i use the decorative punch all right so i've already done three of mine so i'm going to punch this one out and i'll be right back okay now i have four pockets here that are two and a quarter by four and three eighths all right so that means i'm only going to do them i'm going to do two on the left hand side and two on the middle section. You are more than welcome to make six, so you can put them on the inside of each of your pockets if you want to. Okay, I'm only doing four. All right, and I'm not gonna glue mine down yet, but I'm gonna show you. Okay, you need to add your design paper. Okay, open up your little flap here. Okay, we're on our middle section. So I'm gonna open up this first page, open up this flap. Add your design paper here, and take your pocket you're going to add glue to the two sides as well as the bottom. All right, then you're going to place it on here. All right, and when you do this, make sure that you don't go um, on the score line to the left or the score line on the right. Okay, so we're going to have a pocket there. Then I'm going to flip. I'm going to skip this next one here, and then I'm going to do the last one. All right, I'm going to open it up, add my design paper, add my pocket, glue on two sides, glue on the bottom. All right, place it on again. Make sure that you go in between those two score lines. All right, I'm gonna close that section up and I'm gonna go to the left-hand side here. All right, I'm gonna open up my top page, open it up, add my design paper, add glue to two sides and the bottom. Okay, glue it on here. All right, skip the middle page, the last page, flip it open. Add your design paper, glue on two sides and the bottom. 
all right glue it down and there you go that's going to give you four little pockets on the inside of your pages here your two pockets here now we need to add let's see here our photo mats for these two pockets here these two here are going to measure three and three quarters by six all right i did use a corner rounder and you're just going to tuck in just like this all right and now you're going to need all right we're going to close this up i didn't do anything here i'll show you on this one okay what i done was i just done you know just a little cut out here at the bottom and then a cut out here and then place photo stamp here so what i'm going to do for this one i'm going to use one of the three by four journaling cards and put here okay all right so now we're going to add our um photo mat or pocket here so this is what it's going to look like so it is going to be four and a half by six all right and i did use a decorative punch on mine all right and what you're going to do is you're going to glue on two sides and the bottom all right so i'm just going to add some glue here right here along the bottom all right and it may be easier to lay this out and work on it like this okay so now i'm just going to take it down a little and you just want to center it up and you can measure it if you want to i'm just eyeballing mine okay and then just burnish it down okay now you just add your design paper here um, and a photo mat here and i forgot to measure that one so let's see if one of these fit all right if so it is three and three quarters by six and it does fit okay so you're going to need a photo mat for here that is three and three quarters by six as well all right and the photo mats that are going to go in your pockets here all right you're going to need four of those and let's see i have more than four of those how many do i have here i've got two four five six all right i don't know why i got six but you're going to need four okay they're going to measure three and a half by four and a half all right i did use the rounder on mine okay they're just going to tuck in just like that and that's it y'all this little folio here is so super cute so so super simple and that's it oh i know why i have these photo mats let me show you here well maybe i don't know maybe i cut them for this for the back i don't know who knows but anyway you're going to need four of the photo mats here all right so again this is a country craft creations design team project and if you have any questions at all please please let me know and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.